There's a new player we've been tracking. We've been calling him Deathstroke. Slade Wilson, aka Deathstroke Origins Explored. Deathstroke has been a fan favorite DC supervillain for quite some time now, but he has not received his fair share of attention and depictions in the DC animated universe or the DC extended universe. I mean, this guy is almost a metahuman like Wonder Woman and Flash. His brain works at 90% capacity and his reflexes are nine times faster than that of an average human. Deathstroke is often reduced to being just another mercenary, but only true fans know that he's the most efficient mercenary there is and definitely a better strategist. Despite all of these qualities, his origin and backstory are full of ups and downs. No matter what, Deathstroke is a character that aces at blurring the line between good and evil, black and white. I mean, if we are to believe more recent story arcs such as Batman, The Adventure Continues number 3, he did initially seem like a good guy, even helping Batman and Robin fight Clayface. So let's explore this dark supervillain and dive deep into his history, his operations and intentions. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. Number 1. Deathstroke's first appearance in comic. Appearing in New Teen Titans Volume 1, number 2, Slade Wilson addresses himself primarily as Deathstroke the Terminator when he appears before members of the evil organization called Hierarchy of International Vengeance and Eliminations, or Hive. They ask Deathstroke to eliminate the New Teen Titans, but the deal could never take off, and Deathstroke was showered with bullets. However, he managed to dodge the attack and escape. What he didn't know, however, was that his physiological and psychological traits were carefully noted down by Hive with the intent that the information would be planted on another person, giving them Deathstroke's powers. And well, who other than Deathstroke's estranged son, Grant Wilson? Grant comes into the picture when we see his girlfriend breaking up with him because of his several vices, including infidelity. However, Grant was not man enough to face the breakup in good humor, and he tried to get abusive with her. But lucky for Carol Slatke, Starfire and Wonder Girl arrived at the scene and saved her from Grant. In the past, the Teen Titans has unintentionally destroyed Grant's apartment, and now that he had lost his girlfriend as well, he blamed the Teen Titans and swore to take revenge. Grant immediately contacts Hive, and they subject him to a process that gives him Deathstroke's powers and the ability to use 100% brain capacity. When the process is finished, Grant Wilson becomes the Ravager and attacks Cyborg. The battle was tense and Cyborg was about to overpower the Ravager, but Deathstroke arrived and saved his estranged son. Meanwhile, the new Teen Titans were having a day off from all the superheroic stuff in the estate of Steve Dayton, Changeling's stepfather. On the other hand, Deathstroke took the Ravager to his mansion and warned the child supervillain that using his newfound powers would be fatal for him. But Ravager was not interested in being schooled by Deathstroke, even though he considered Deathstroke as an idol. Filled with bloodlust, the Ravager left Deathstroke's mansion and came to face the Teen Titans, who were prepared to fight him off. But the situation changed when Deathstroke followed the Ravager and offered him backup. After an intense battle, Deathstroke's warning turned into a reality, and his son aged prematurely and quickly because the energy for his hyper-reflexes was being sourced from his own body, and it was not enough. Within a short span of time, the Ravager passed to the other realm, and Deathstroke, who lost his son, blamed the Teen Titans. Naturally, he swore to finish what his son started and vowed to slay the Teen Titans. Interestingly enough, the Hive got what it wanted. Deathstroke would now do their bidding without having to pay him even a penny. Number 2. The Origin of Deathstroke Slade Wilson's story began when he was just about 16 years of age. Back in the early 60s, when the Vietnam War hadn't started, the military was a lucrative and promising career. Slade ran away from home to get enlisted. He was just 16 and not eligible to get into the military, so he lied about his age and got through. The kid had a real talent for warfare and turned out to be a murder machine later in his life. Speaking of murder machine, did you know that one of Batman's forms was called Murder Machine after he took the powers of Cyborg? Anyway, Slade's talent bestowed him with several quick promotions, but his life was far from easy. One thing that's strange about Slade Wilson is that despite being the mercenary that he is, he always had a code by which he lives. When he was serving as a member of the peacekeeping force of the United Nations, he was asked by a superior to shoot down innocent civilians. Their only crime was scourging for food in a place where armed hostiles were present. He refused to shoot, which brought him under the bad books of his superior, who asked his men to cripple Slade. But lucky for Slade, he was saved by the British British military man Wintergreen, who would go on to become his closest confidant. He later became a butler to Slade, just as Alfred was to Bruce. 
A few years later, Slade has risen to the rank of major in the army, and coupled with his talents, he was sent on a deputation to learn combat skills at Camp Washington, along with several others who were as good as him. Camp Washington was supposed to be a training ground where the best of the best were to be shortlisted. He came under the wing of Captain Adeline Kane, his then instructor and future wife. Slade's mastery and quick learning of the guerrilla warfare techniques impressed Adeline, but more importantly, he fared with remarkable colors in a class of super soldiers and was soon promoted to the rank of lieutenant colonel. Adeline and Slade got married and had a super productive honeymoon because they had their first son, Grant Wilson, sometime after their return. Soon after, Slade was offered to volunteer in a top secret medical experiment that was supposed to make soldiers resistant to the enemy's truth serum. However, it is a white lie, and the true purpose of the serum was the creation of super soldiers. Soldiers. Oblivious to the truth, Slade participated in the experiment, but his body couldn't bear the serum and reacted violently to it, at least initially. Slade would go through bouts of rage and aggression, and at other times he would stay in a catatonic state or sedated. Under these circumstances, Slade's second son, Joseph, was born. As time passed, Slade became more stable, only to learn the truth about the experiment. His strength, speed, senses, stamina, intellect, and reflexes had increased beyond measure so much so that he was using 90% of his brain capacity. The only catch was that he didn't tell anyone about his newfound powers, not even his wife. The army believed that he was unstable for field work and he was assigned to desk jobs, but a man like Slade Wilson got bored. But he found refuge in hunting and became a world famous hunter. But even this had to stop for Slade when William Wintergreen was forced to go on a suicide mission where he was captured. Unable to get help from his superiors for Wintergreen, Slade took it upon himself to do the impossible to save Wintergreen. He designed himself a suit for the task and would become the Deathstroke. Tracking down Wintergreen was not difficult, and he slashed through 38 Viet Cong members in less than two minutes, all the while screaming like a wild, unstoppable banshee. Despite saving Wintergreen, Slade was discharged from the army for insubordination and disobedience. But Slade didn't take this as a punishment, but rather as a relief because he had grown tired of the blind loyalty that the army followed. His code was different, and to him, his acts were more justified. He assumed the mantle of Deathstroke, the Terminator, and trained under Nadas, the master of martial arts. Interestingly, the world Terminator was dropped from his name because of the Terminator film starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. Nevertheless, Slade started taking contracts and became one of the greatest hitmen alive. But his way of life brought him into a direct confrontation with a terrorist named the Jackal, who kidnapped Slade's younger son, Joseph, to get information from Slade. Although Slade managed to save his son, the bad guy had slit his throat, cutting Joseph's vocal cords and leaving him to be mute. While taking his son to the hospital, Slade's real identity was revealed to Adeline. She was furious at Slade for choosing the path that had put their family in mortal danger and shot him in the head. Had it been any regular man, he would have died, but Slade lived through the gunshot because of the super soldier serum, which gave him enhanced healing. In the end, he only lost an eye. Adeline later told Grant Wilson about Slade, hoping that it would keep the child away from his father, but it backfired. Number three, Deathstroke story in Titans TV series. Played by Isai Morales in the live-action TV show, Titans, Slade Wilson, a.k.a. Deathstroke, was one of the major antagonists and an arch-enemy of the young superheroes. He had a bloodlust for several personal reasons and sacrificed quite a lot to achieve his objective, which was eliminating the Titans. Much like Slade's original story and origin, the show portrayed him as a member of the U.S. Army, more specifically the Delta Force, after which he became a member of Hive, which subjected him to experiments directed towards bio-enhancements. Although in the comics, it was the Army that had infected the Super Soldier Serum into him, as far as his family life is concerned, it's pretty much similar to the comics, albeit with a few differences. For instance, with his wife Adeline, he had a son named Jericho, and instead of two sons, he had a daughter named Rose from a woman named May, with whom he had a one night stand in Kansas City. Much like in the comics, Adeline and her son were attacked by Slade's enemies and were held hostage. Slade did manage to save the duo, but Jericho lost his voice after which Adeline left Slade. But Jericho's life was shorter than his comic counterpart Joseph, because Slade accidentally killed Jericho while attempting to take Robin's life. Such a tragedy, but then Slade had it coming. After this, Slade turned to his estranged daughter Rose, who he initially thought was not worthy of taking his mantle, but after she showed him enough skills and competence, Slade gave her a Deathstroke uniform similar to his own and also trained her in combat. 
Slade was truly a ruthless and selfish man, and losing his firstborn son didn't serve much as a warning to him. He ordered his last child, Rose, to infiltrate the Titans and pretend to them that he was after her. She was able to accept the mission because Rose looked up to him and because he told her about Jericho's death and how the Titans were behind it all. I mean, to give it legitimacy to the charade, Slade gouged Rose's left eye. That's one terrible father there, but then what else do we expect from a supervillain? Tracking. We've been calling him Deathstroke. I have a book. Number 4. Interesting storyline of Deathstroke in Arrowverse Slade's life is definitely more interesting and happening in the Arrowverse than in any other arc. Here, along with Billy Wintergreen, he goes on a mission to rescue a man named Yao Fei. However, after both get captured, Wintergreen betrays Slade to side with Edward Fires, the field commander of a mercenary unit. Although Slade escaped, he had to go into hiding for safety, but this was until he met Oliver Queen, who found Slade in a downed and abandoned cargo plane. Eventually, Oliver and Slade launched an attack in which Slade avenged himself by stabbing Wintergreen in the eye, but Slade got shot by Fires. Fortunately for him, Oliver used some super herbs to cure Slade, almost magically. They needed a new plan, but first they had to eliminate Fires, which they did indeed with the help from Yao's daughter, Shadow. But the peace that came with Fires' death didn't last for long as Anthony Ivo and his group of mercenaries attacked the island, intending to salvage the wreckage from the Second World War. More specifically, they wanted a substance called Mirakuru, which gave its users superhuman strength and stamina. It was something similar to Venom, the serum that gave Bane his powers. The bombardment that Ivo started critically wounded Slade, who was saved by Shadow, who had no choice but to inject him with Marakuru. So, in this show, Slade gets his powers from Marakuru and not a bio-enhanced experiment. But the downside of Mirakuru was that Slade gradually lost his sanity and reason, becoming a ruthless, paranoid, and irrational man. In due course of time, Oliver made a hard choice which led to Shadow's death, but by now, Slade had fallen for Shadow. He pledged to take revenge from Oliver and became a mortal enemy of Oliver Queen. Don't worry, you won't. <laughs> Number 5. What makes Deathstroke so deadly? Due to the medical experiments performed on him, Slade Wilson not only developed superhuman speed, strength and endurance, but his intellect increased manifold. In fact, he can now perform mental calculations, devise strategies, and plan his moves nine times faster than an average human. And due to this, his reaction time was also nine times lesser. This made him a master strategist with a brain that resembled a computer built for devising battle and combat strategies. And of course, his physical strength was more than ten times that of a regular human. This largely happened because his muscles had been strengthened and hardened. In the comics, he was seen fighting the Teen Titans and could easily catch up to Kid's flash speed and evade Starfire's energy blast. In the comic titled Deathstroke No. 1, he ripped open a plane's door at 40,000 feet. One may say that Deathstroke is like a basic version of a metahuman like Wonder Woman or Flash. We've already mentioned how Deathstroke has superhuman healing, but he lacks the power of regeneration. So, although he can recover from heavy injuries, he cannot regenerate a lost limb or even an eye. One of his underrated abilities is a heightened body temperature, which allows him to withstand extreme cold weather with ease and also prevents illnesses and infections because his body is a hostile place for pathogens. And yet, Slade's most important skill is his expertise as a combatant and a marksman. Much like characters as Grifter and the Black Canary, he's an expert of hand-to-hand -hand combat and God save you if he gets his hand on a weapon. Apart from his own physical traits, Slade's source of power is his suit, which was created by Dr. Icon. The suit provides him with durability, but it has another special feature. It can absorb kinetic energy from rapid and extreme physical movements, which keeps the suit charged up and functioning. If you still don't have an idea of the true extent of his suit's capabilities, then here's one for you. He once took a string of Superman's punches and yet he was able to stand still. Since the movements required to produce this level of kinetic energy are extreme, only Slade can use the suit. However, there are more ways to charge the suit, such as lithium cells. Furthermore, if the suit gets surplus kinetic energy, it can emit shockwaves. Number 6. Insane versions of Deathstroke in various forms of media Although there has been just one live-action depiction of Deathstroke in a DCEU film, the character has been a reoccurring villain in several animated and live-action TV shows and a few animated films. Let's explore these, shall we? Huh? 
animated shows. Being a children's cartoon, Deathstroke was called Slade in Teen Titans, and while his motives and intentions were never specifically mentioned, it seemed that he only intended the destruction of the Titans. In the first season, he manipulated Robin so much so that Robin was practically his assistant, but that changed by the end of the season. In the second season, he was trying to use Terra as a sleeper agent amidst the Titans, just like he tried to use his daughter Rose in the live action show. However, she betrayed him when he forced her into eliminating Beast Boy. In Young Justice, Invasion, Deathstroke's character was somewhat depreciated because they made him serve as Black Manta's bodyguard and an enforcer. And later in the series, he works with the League of Assassins. In Beware the Batman, Deathstroke is shown as Alfred's protege, but he was incarcerated by Alfred once he learned how ruthless and violent Deathstroke was. However, in a web series titled Deathstroke Knights and Dragons, he was the star of the show and goes on to hatch ultra elaborate plans and schemes. Live action shows. Apart from the TV shows Titans and Arrow, Deathstroke also starred in Smallville where he's portrayed by Michael Hogan. In the show, Slade proves to be a cunning man who tortures Aquaman using his own weaknesses and tricks Arrow into signing a wrongful act. He is later sent to the Phantom Zone by Superman, but is saved by Zod who now serves Darkseid along with Slade himself. Apart from these shows, Slade also appeared in animated movies such as Justice League Crisis on Two Earths, which is based in an alternate reality where Slade is the President of the United States and the world is ruled by an evil version of the Justice League. But more notable films with Deathstroke are Justice League, Flashpoint Paradox, and Son of Batman. So you see, Deathstroke has been a fairly important villain in the DC universe. I mean, people often undermine and discard him as just another mercenary, but Slade Wilson is much more than that. He's a bad guy with the code, but more importantly, he's not a black and white character. His character and personality are pretty gray and may confuse his opponents both on and off the battlefield. So with that being said, if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone. No, it's happening.